Hey, this is Dan with Puts Ponds and Gardens, and we're starting a new project today. It is early December, so it's very cold out. It's about 30, about 34 degrees out. But you know what? That's not going to stop us because we've got a waterfall to build. So let me take you around the back of the house, and what we're going to be doing on this project here in Macomb Township, Michigan, is they've got an existing pond that was put in. They can't really see the waterfall from the house. They never had any luck keeping fish in here and they had a hard time keeping the mulch out of the pond. So let me take you around the back. I'll show you this project. We're actually going to take this pond and we're going to convert it into a pondless waterfall. All signs are pointing to making this into a pondless waterfall. A, they don't want fish. B, they can't see the waterfall. They want lower maintenance. So a pondless waterfall is going to be a way, the way to go for this homeowner. Easy to maintain run it when you want to we're not setting up a biological filtration system no skimmers no leaves to empty a lot easier maintenance for them and you know what for us that's a win-win let's head out in the backyard we're going to show you this project that we got going on Alright, so here in the backyard we've got a, a pond right now, it's got a small little waterfall. We've started to drain out the water right now. We're going to convert this into a pondless waterfall. This is the viewing area right here. Nice patio. We've got all the windows in the back of the house. Little puppy staring at us. This is the natural viewing area. So what we want to do is right in through here we want to set our spillway box. We want to twist, turn, then come down into a hidden basin right here. That way the homeowners can enjoy it from inside the house as well as out on the patio. The way they've got it now, this would have been the best viewing area. Again, this is away from your patio. You can hear the sound, but you're not getting the sights. The landscaping is going to change. Because it's late December, we're going to transplant some of these plants. The real artistry with the plants is going to come next spring when plants are available. You can see the ice on the pond. It's not very warm out here right now. We're going to get this thing taken apart and watch our magic unfold. Can't see. Oh, hey puppy. Hey puppy. What Can't you see. doing? Kenzie, you helping out? Dig. <laughs> okay, so the pond is gone. We've got our lower basin all set for our aqua blocks. We're doing things a little different on this one. We happen to have a snorkel vault laying around our shop. So we're using a snorkel vault on this job for our pump. Um, that'll get cut down based on the height of our, our basin. We're gonna run our piping up around. We'll have our spillway box over here. We'll carve this out, raise up the spillway box just a little bit, create a little bit of a retaining wall around the backside, and then we're gonna carve out the front. We'll have a minimum three drops in here, and we'll be using the homeowner's lights for this project. So stay tuned, and we got more work to do. So here's the old skimmer. 
the old biofalls. There's the piping. We're not using any of that stuff. That stuff's going bye bye. So we've got underlayment underneath the liner, but we also do another pad on top of the liner because the aqua blocks, sometimes they can have a sharp edge to them. And when we go to backfill, we don't want to puncture any holes in the liner. So they're putting our, our vault in. Again, we're using a snorkel vault for this one. A, because we had it sitting around, we decided, you know what, let's use this as a, a vault for our pump. So the aqua blocks will sit flush right up against face of that vault. I guess it's just a little too cold outside because the battery in our camera just decided not to work. It was charged 100%. It's just it's too cold out there. So we've got the basin all dug. Everything's in. We did our rock work. And we'll show you that tomorrow when uh, we're back on site. But we don't have any film of us actually doing the rock work. No one really cares about that anyways. <laughs> so, um, tomorrow's another day. We will be over there. We'll wrap that project up. And you can see the magic that we actually created. I think that's going to be our new word. Let's make some magic. What do you guys think? Leave us a comment below. We need a catchphrase for our our videos and I, I seem to be going back to that every time let's make some magic but let us know in the comments below what you think we've got our basin in uh, we have no footage of that because it's so cold out here our batteries just died you notice we've got flow cell for extra added strength to our basin on top of our aqua blocks we speckled in a couple little boulders just hand sized boulders so that way we get a little bit more movement through those boulders. Derek's bringing in some topsoil right now. We're going to use that to backfill along the, the liner on this side. Our piping is in. We've got a valve box for our discharge over here that'll come up over to that side. Our spillway is in. We're going to make some magic. It is really good, Dan. Oh, the sound and everything. I can't wait to sit out here with a cocktail. <laughs> <laughs> 80 degree day. Yeah. yeah, we're gonna need to have a little bit warmer sit out here with a cocktail. <laughs> Unless it's a hot toddy. Yeah. <laughs> wow. So what do you think? <laughs> Take two. Um, so what was it like working with our company? So you guys are awesome. And it's ironic that I found you because I was literally stopped at a red light, pulled behind your truck. And I think you were driving. I pulled up along the red light just to get a look at you. And then I took a picture of the truck and I'm like, we have to call this company. And you came right out and completely revamped our pond in like a month. So excited. Just the communication, you know, I mean, being able to tell us exactly what it's going to look like and the plan and everything else. I mean, I've never seen a project go more perfectly than yeah. this. It's typically, beautiful. typically there's always the butt word, but it came out really good. <laughs> beautiful. Well, you heard it. Um, not every project comes out the, exactly how we want it. This is not even exactly how I envision this project to be. I really like it, and I think it came out really great. Let us know in the comments below. Hit that subscribe button so that way you guys can uh, see all of our work that comes along and stay tuned for all of our projects. Kenzie likes it too, <laughs> our dog. So Kenzie's busy with a stick over there. We keep trying to make a pile and Kenzie keeps stealing from that pile. So we're going to finish up a little details on this project. We got one more before the end of the year and hopefully we don't freeze. So thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next one. Oh, my God.